Hey everybody, this is Dim, and we're playing a little bit of Hunter Rushdown. Uh, this is actually not a very good starting hand for this deck at all. Uh, I'll keep this, but we got a mulligan the other two. This is not very good. <laughs> this is really not good. Uh, especially against a Warlock, I'm not putting the Timberwolf up to... Yeah, that's not a good idea. Uh, I don't... Mm. If he's got a Mortal Coil, I'm not only going to be feeding him a card... Uh, let's Arcane Shot him for two and just get some damage on the board against him. This whole purpose of this deck is to burn down the enemy hero. Uh, no defenses, no nothing, just balls to the wall DPS. And we're not going to be able to do that with these particular cards at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this, his, his starting round is much greater than mine. Much, much greater than mine. Um, so I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that I have really no counter to what he's offering here, and I really don't want to have to use the Arcane Golem on the Leaper Gnome, which I'm going to have to do, actually. Alright, so this is all, he's going to do two to me, with another two against three. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and Wolf Rider to his face. And you have to assume that he's going to leap her into the Wolf Rider and call it a day. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing this and... Oh, well played. Oh, goodness gracious, I might have bad luck with this. All right, let's get some cards. All right, so we got a little bit of a recoup here. Uh, we, we definitely fed him some cards with this Mortal Coil, but at the same time, it's not awful. Uh, we're playing, oh, yeah, we're playing kind of similar rushdown hands. Which one is he's gonna? Interesting. He did not silence the Starving Buzzard, so that means he's definitely gonna be going for the removal on that. He has to be. Okay, finally. We're not in that bad a shape, actually, believe it or not. Oh, yes. Explosive Trap is glorious. Leaper Gnome to your face. And Hero Power. And... You know what? Meh. To the face. Go ahead. You're not going to be able to stop the secret, so no matter what you do, it's going to pretty much clear the board for you. You have too many minions out there, and Explosive Trap is going to do its job, which will be nice. So the only thing that will be left is really the the Bark minion, and actually, no, the... Not terrific there, but it's okay. It's, it's better than what we had before, and we're still getting damage on them, so... I probably jumped the gun a little bit too soon with the Explosive Trap. Wow, okay. Hmm. What should I do here now? I almost feel like I have to do that for... You know what? I am going to... Yeah. Yeah. This is still gonna hurt, but we're in. We're three. We have to survive three turns. If we can survive three turns, all right. He's given. He's giving me the same same benefit that I have. Let's see. What is he dealing with? Four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. Whew. But we won. No, we won. What am I? What am I saying? We won. Oof. This is a close, close match, but close but no cigars. This is uh, was definitely a viable mirror match, and yeah, that's lethal, guys. Hunter Rushdown deck. I'm not a huge fan of it, 
But let's go ahead and see how it pans out in the next game. Huh? All right. This deck is all about getting your opponent down fast. We got a decent starting hand here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, of course, is open up with the Leaper Gnome. This deck is designed to push out damage as much as possible. No defense, straight out to the face. If you fall behind and don't do like two to three damage per turn, you're kind of doing it wrong. And this is actually nice because we got the Leaper Gnome. Actually, we got a double Leaper Gnome. No, uh, I'm going to to the face and Leaper Gnome. We got four damage, definite four damage out of the uh, one mana Leaper Gnome, which is a great value for the card. So if he, okay, so he burned two mana is going to kill him. Do the two damage, which is one extra damage off the shield, and another two damage from the death rattle. We're in good shape right now. Next, what we're going to go ahead and do with three mana is I'm going to put a warlock, uh, the Leaper Gnome and the uh, Blue Grill Warrior. And again, stick to the damage pattern and just keep getting them with the damage um, and get our value for mana here. Um, all right, we're going to force him to attack us. So let's go ahead and set the trap, set that, and do another four to the face. And we're at turn four with 15 damage down. Not bad. Not Could be a little bit better, but let's see what happens. Uh, we do have the Unleash the Hounds card in here, so if he does start going kind of minion happy, we'll be okay. That looks like he... Oh. All right. It's five mana to remove three mana worth of cards, no problem. And now he's going to set the trap off. And we got the two damage to him as well. Not really useful against him, but... Uh, I think what we'll do... Oh... Here's what we can do. Silence him so he doesn't come back. And we'll just do two to the face while that happens. All right, not bad. And again, this is all about rushing down your opponent. If you get a bad draw, because there are, as you can see in the deck list uh, that way, that there's a lot of cards that don't really p play well together. So you have to kind of factor that and it is all about card draw on this it's not my favorite deck however i do play it for when i have quests like war uh, hunter or druid i don't like playing druid so this is my hunter uh comparison or counter uh let's see with three that seems kind of wasteful i could use it nah i don't want to do that uh but then again i also don't really want to do this either uh let's see what we can do with the random companion uh, the friendly minions have one attack. Not great. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll just keep taking that damage because pretty much in four turns, he's dead. Now, a lot can happen in four turns, but let's see what happens. Because I believe the next turn, what we'll do, depending on how many minions he puts out, because we do still have this Unleashed the Hounds waiting, or if he throws down something big, I do have the Deadly Shot, but I think the Abomination will... All right. I'm kind of surprised that he's not, that he took that and went that way with it, but okay. So I'm going to do taunt with the death rattle, and I'm going to do another two to the face, which gives us the opportunity to, if he doesn't put a taunt up, or uh, he'll definitely remove it with these two. Um, but this could, depending on what he keeps up here, be lethal next match. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> uh, usually by this turn, uh, usually by like turn 7 or 8 is when you're going to get lethal with this deck. If you're going to have to go the distance with it, you're kind of in trouble. Uh, like I said, you don't have much to defend yourself with. And if they have some late game cards, it's going to be pretty clutch and it's going to hurt. And a taunt for here, for us right now, is going to be pretty... Uh, Pretty bad as well, but then again, unless he has a major heal in three turns, he's lethal. So, we may be able to survive the onslaught. I, I think this is looking pretty good. We'll see. Again, Hunters aren't my favorite class to play, but some people do swear by him, and like you see on the side, the deck is really inexpensive, and it's certainly good uh, in... You could definitely get to easily level 20 with this.
All right, so now we're down to two. Unless he puts a taunt up. And if he puts another minion now, it's absolutely going to be a good game for us. Okay. Come on, put something out. Uh, not going to be quite enough. Not, uh, yes, it will. Lethal. Here we go. We got the Wolf Rider and the Hero ability. Lethal. There we go. Nice quick win. It does bring you kind of on the seat of your pants, and you do have to kind of depend on card draw for this deck. Not the best deck, but it is a very good deck, given the low cost for a hunter. Um, the higher end hunter decks are extremely expensive uh, with the different legendary requirements. So, there you have it. There's my budget hunter rushdown deck. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to share it out to all your friends that want to get into Hearthstone on the cheap. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!